yeah, yeah. I got a drill, yeah, yeah. I see any jigs, got cream like a wig, got cheese like a whiz, yeah, yeah. You know what it is, yeah, yeah. I'm on my biz, yeah, yeah. Cause I got the riz, yeah, yeah. I got the riz, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. What it do, people? This your boy, Chevy D, Chevy D TV. It's episode eight, volume 75, take 79. <laughs> everybody good? I hope everybody good out there. I'm feeling good today. We're going to run it back. Last time I was having some technical if difficulties. You feel me? Some difficulties. No, we was having some difficulties. And that leads me to, hey, if you'd like to support us, help us get some better equipment, some good graphics, some good effects, you know, at the production, you can always donate on the cash app at Chevy D TV. Appreciate y'all uh, tuning in today. Let me pull my chat up over here. And always make sure y'all go download the Chevy D TV app. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all get the app. Click a few buttons. The Chevy D TV button to take you straight to the YouTube page. And we got the official breakthrough movie, which is a movie I just directed, wrote, filmed. Um, boy Serge Marty helped me out. Shout out Goofy Certified. Shout out to all the actors that contributed their part. Um, but y'all make sure y'all check that out on Instagram too. Uh, official breakthrough film um click that instagram button it'll take you to our instagrams if you want to see some people i've worked with in the industry you can hit that industry button um people i met people i work with people i film um just putting in that work man so uh check out the industry button podcast of course takes you to the chevy D tv podcast which I hope you're tuning in to, subscribe, you know, to the YouTube. Uh, check out the portfolio. Um, that just tell you a little bit more about myself, where we got started um, in Chevy D TV. You feel me? Uh, the bonus play button is for you. So if you want to get your business or your track or your music put on um, our app, just DM us on IG at Chevy D TV or at Chevy D TV Podcast. Let us know you want your new music video on the bonus play button. You want your business on the on bonus play button. We want any kind of whatever you got going to go on the bonus play button. That is that is there strictly for you all. All right. So, also, with that being said, we got the IG page for the podcast. Please go check that out. It's the home of entertainment, entertainment. Subscribe, you feel me? Hit that little, uh, the little notifications on the side for the videos. But here you will find clips of um, our shows and previous episodes, up and coming shows. Uh, our outdo, uh drops and you know when we doing our networking thing uh, you can find some movie reviews some comedy reviews uh, some clips of our discussion for the day always a good hot topic so uh, yeah make sure y'all go check out the Chevy D TV podcast on uh, Instagram yeah man there's some good stuff on there and today's show is brought to you by Double D's Vapes and Smoke. At World of Smoke and Vape, we pride ourselves on being the ultimate destination for all your smoking and vaping needs. We carry a wide range of products across all categories, including disposable vapes, Delta TAC, Kratom, e-liquids, glass pipes, hookahs, detoxes, and an assortment of smoking accessories. Our knowledgeable staff is always ready to provide the best recommendations and insight you need to make informed decisions. 
What's more, our stores all share the same look and feel, ensuring a consistent and comfortable experience no matter where you shop. So y'all make sure y'all go down, check out Devil D's Vapes and Smoke in Boynton Beach, Florida at 706 Boynton Beach Boulevard Suite 114 for all your vape and smoke needs. And today we got a special guest uh, coming on the show via teleprompter, telescreen, televised, teletube, Stephen B. Grant Esquire. He is a legal professional. Uh, he owns the law office of Stephen B. Grant uh, Esquire in Boynton Beach, Florida. Let me bring him on. See if I can get him, get him going. Hey, tell us your name and why you're here today. Hello, I'm Stephen B. Grant Esquire, and I'm here to discuss estate planning on the Chevy TV. True, true. What is the primary purpose of a living will? Did I lose connection? What's the primary? So a living will is a document that you would give to a hospital or doctor when you would want life-sustaining uh, techniques or procedures to be stopped or not administered. It's similar to what's called as a DNR or do not resuscitate. But if they are, if you are currently awaiting surgery, this living will will inform your heirs and the doctors of your desires not to become is to stay in a persistent state, vegetative state. There are two other conditions that you can waive. One is called a terminal condition, which uh, is like Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. and then there is an end stage condition, which is like stage four cancer. So what is it, when is it necessary to have a living will, and what are some of the disbenefits of not having one? So the, after the age of 18, you can have a living will. Uh, one of the disadvantages of not having a living will is being put on uh, self-sustaining uh, procedures and protocols even though you may not be, uh, have any brain activity. Tell us a little bit about the last will and testament. What's more important for every estate plan is to have a last will and testament. This document is what informs the court or and your heirs how you want your estate to be distributed. Um, in this document, you will need to identify the personal representative mm. that will be administering your estate and signing the documents and petitioning the court so that the uh, judge can adjudicate who gets what mm. as part of a, a, a probate. And then you will need to inform that a personal representative of your final desires. So who are your beneficiaries and what do they get? You can, most of the time, you would um, total all of your assets into one group and then split it however you would like to your descendants, heirs, and beneficiaries. On the, in the alternative is you can give specific amounts of uh, the, the assets that you would like to give to your beneficiaries. Right. So who needs like a last will and testament? So a last will and testament is for anyone with assets. Uh, basically, if you don't have a will, everything will go through intestate succession where they will go through the closest family bonds. So for example, if you have children, parents, siblings, aunts and uncles, cousins, and all the way down the line, nieces and nephews. How can people get in contact with you for your services? So my website is grantlegal.com. My email address is stephen at grantlegal.com. And my mobile number is 561-767-8750 if you'd like to send a text and introduce yourself. Uh, what are some other areas of law that you practice? As a general practicing attorney, uh, I focus on more of 
business contracts, um, business entities, landlord tenant work, and more transactional aspects of law. One of the things that I say is, you know, give me a call before you sign, because if you sign a document, you may be liable for a lot of money because you didn't understand what you signed. Definitely. Thank you. gonna get into our music reviews so y'all make sure y'all go check him out for your legal consultations hit him up if you got a question even if it's something that he didn't mention uh appreciate him coming on the show today uh but yeah first up we got suki hana uh came out with casamigos uh yeah but we're gonna see if we can find it there it is right there i picked the software engineering program because they pay very well it's a fast-paced industry the boot camp allowed me suit 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 make sure i played a good quality for y'all casa amigos casa amigos Casa amigos. Mad, mad. Pour it in my cup. Pour it in my cup. Pour it, pour it in my cup. I want to drink the Casa amigos. Pour it in my cup. Pour it in my cup. Pour it, pour it in my cup. I want to drink the Casa amigos. Bad man, you me like. No, I really want you to stay the night. Casa amigos. Hey, I'm feeling the vibe. I like I, I like this calm, laid back, groovy Suki. I know um Suki was in the in the process of changing her image and her and her appeal and how she coming off. She still Suki with the goop goop, but I heard through the grapevine that she's uh she's making a little little transition. But I like. I, I like. Me want put this good pussy in your life, bad mind, human life. No, I really want you to stay the night. Cause amigos, lots of ice. Me want but this good pussy in your life. Ah, bad girl, how you me like? Love it when you want everything tight. I know you want it, cause you're thinking right. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking the look, I'm liking the vibe, I like the feel. Like I said, I like the laid back Suki. And I don't know if they shot this in the islands or here, but uh, it's, it's a nice little vibe. Y'all make sure y'all go check out Suki Hunter and Afro B Casamigos. Y'all tell me if y'all like the vibe, if y'all feeling the new, the new swag, you know what I'm saying? And Hey, just tell me how y'all feel about it. Uh, we got Rallo Rodriguez came out with Equal Dirt. I don't know if y'all heard that. I think Equal Dirt was about some toxic, some toxic type of relationship type of stuff. But I always admire the artists that go out their way to make their visuals look like visuals. You know what I'm saying? Give it that. that you must think I'm stupid, huh? Give it that movie appeal. You know what I'm saying? That whole I said you must think I'm stupid. No kid, then happy that you got a bus. You doing makeup on the same hoe I was sneaking on you with. I'm dapping up the same nigga you were creeping on me with. Man, we thought we got past that. You told me that was the last time. I thought you got past that. Your ass is giving mad rhymes. I just feel like we just keep having this conversation. I remember not having no car, but for you, I'm on the way through. You know, I want more than just this. Yeah, so many memories. I go tell Facebook, just look at that whole mess. I was out of Houston, I went to Reno, Texas. Not- yeah. So this here, I like I like his sound. His to me, his he got a unique voice, so he gonna always have his own little sound. Um, but this song here is, I guess, about you'll see, like he. Uh, catch the girl dropping. She drops a, a condom up out of purse, but they don't use rubbers. You know how many of y'all in relationships out there? Y'all going steady, so y'all decide, hey, we ain't gonna use no protection. And then you find protection at his house 
of her house and his car and her car and her her purse his wallet what you what 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 you doing with that my being is crazy just know that when your brother you the first lady that ever took serious enough for off being a bust i'm not a fool we'll tell your shoe we not a cup gun in your purse you fucked around and dropped the rubber who this fuck you my bitch and we be fucking around every time mm -hmm. who was this for uh -huh. Who is this for? Bitch, who this fuck? <laughs> hey, y'all go check out Rollo Rodriguez because I know some of y'all can relate to that. Some of y'all like hitting them toxic relationships right now. You know y'all being cheated on and just can't move on probably because you emotionally invested. But hey, toxicity ain't good for nobody, boy. Stress kill you, boy. You better be happy out here. And that's what leads us to comedy reactions. Because we want to be happy out here. You know what I'm saying? First up, I got Jay Rich. I can't call Jay Rich probably either on uh, Instagram or either. No, I'm going to let y'all check him out right quick. See if y'all can relate to this. Black people so nice, right? Like if you lie to them, they'll give you a second chance to tell them the truth. Right. Y'all be in general conversation. You be like, yeah, bro, that happened back in the day when you used to date Keisha. He be like, man, I ain't never date Keisha. You'll look at him like. So you ain't that. never dated Keisha. Right. He be like, yeah, I dated Keisha. How you know about that? Y'all could be arguing. Right. You be like, get your crackhead ass up out of here. He be like, man, I ain't never smoked crack. <laughs> so you ain't never smoked crack. He like, that was back in the 80s. How you know about it? Uh, 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 Black people so nice. Hey, that be, that be my, that's my thing. Uh, I get that look like, how many of y'all do that? Like, come on, bro. Bro. Now nah, you probably say, bro. And give, yeah, give him that little next little opportunity. This here is Chinidu Anaka. Poseidon uh, when you want to die. Reveal. You jump yeah, off. I'm going to let y'all check him out right quick. He had a little funny look. I was dating this one young lady, and she was like, why don't you want to get married? You just told me you would die for me. I said, that's true. I would die for you. That's marriage. But yeah. getting married, especially to the wrong person, is like dying slowly. <laughs> I wouldn't die slowly for nobody right now. <laughs> I'll die suddenly for a lot of people. I'm a hero at heart, I can feel it. <laughs> but I don't want to get tortured to death. <laughs> now really think about that. Even when you're suicidal, when you want to die, right. you jump off the 100th floor. You don't jump off the second floor 100 times, right? <laughs> it's quick. <laughs> it's fast. You shoot. <laughs> That's real. That's real. All right, let me see what else he got here. I was dating this one young lady, right. and she was like, why don't you want to get married? You just told me you were. Oh, let me click on a different one and see what else he got going on. I was dating this one young lady, and she was like, why don't you want to get married? You just told me you would die for me. I said, that's true. I would die for you. But getting married, especially to the wrong person, is like dying slow. Yeah, there you go. First generation. My name is Chinadu. That's my real name. Chinadu. It's Nigerian. You know, <laughs> I was trying to learn how to speak my native language better. It's called Igbo. You know, it's kind of my dad's fault. So he tried to teach me too late. I was there in high school. My dad got the bright idea to try to teach his son his native language. I came home with a full backpack. Just left basketball practice. My dad had a bunch of Igbo words on the wall. He was a like, Chinadu. Don't you want to learn some Igbo? Yes. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man, but I got Spanish homework. I ain't got time for this. <laughs> I'm busy now. I know Spanish better than I do Igbo. That's embarrassing me like another Nigerian born in Nigeria because they'll judge you. Your name is Chinedu. Do you speak Igbo? I'd be like, my brother, my brother, my brother. <laughs> hey, uh, mas o menos. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best I can do. I speak Spanish in the Igbo accent, hope they don't notice. Right. My name is Y'all make sure y'all go. And we 
got our music, music and movie trivia. Name that movie from last week. Smell like producer. <laughs> that was Burning Mac and How to Be a Player. So let us know in the comments if you got that right or if you thought it was something else. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just let us know. And name that song and artist. I got baby bottles for me. That's the project, baby. Kodak Black. Hey, if you got anything you want us to post up here for the trivia that you want the folks to figure out that you think they might not can figure out, hey, DM us at Chevy DTV Podcast. Send us your trivia and we will put it up for you. But yeah, uh, so for next week, let's see what we got here. And we got some new trivia. All right. New movie line is... My neck and my back. I need 150000 Y'all tell us what movie that came from. And who said it, possibly. And the song... I'm just a bachelor looking for a partner. Yeah, y'all be sure to chime in and let us know who sang that song and what song it is on movie and music trivia on Chevy DTV Podcast. And you can always support our trivia by donating at the cash app below Chevy DTV. You know what I'm saying? What's new? What's new? Well, had this show aired Sunday. Laser hair removal by Laser Away is Uh, next level adulting. Yeah, we would have been. Life before laser hair removal was honestly the worst. I already know there's a lot of chat. Tonight, speaking publicly for the first time, social media influencer Kai Sanat condemning the mayhem he's accused of instigating in a New York City neighborhood. I should. am beyond, bro, disappointed. I am too. Beyond, bro, beyond disappointed in anybody who became destructive that day, bro. Right. 100%, bro, that is not cool. My in contrast to the message all. he sent to his millions of social media fans a week earlier, announcing a video gaming giveaway on his Twitch live stream, seemingly aware that things could get, quote, rowdy. 14th Street, Union Square Park, NYC, starting at 4 o'clock. My nigga might end really quick on depending on how rowdy it gets. Now, look, it is a public area, so we don't yeah. know. Anything can happen, bro. Anything can happen. What did happen sent the NYPD scrambling to call in resources from all five boroughs to manage wow. the mob. The crowd, made up of mostly minors, exploding into a mass wow. of people. Hey, this goes to show you, man, this dude, this dude has a lot of followers and a lot of people are... Uh, you know, be listening to these soon becoming and unruly like and violent. That's crazy. Police making arrests among the commotion yeah, while some crazy. in the crowd destroyed yeah, property, climbing on top of a newly that. renovated subway entrance and this food truck, even setting off fireworks. After Friday, bro, I've come to realize the amount of not only power but influence that I have on people. Sanat, yeah, at first, live streaming the crush of people around him. Where the park at? But later, the NYPD pulling the influencer out of the crowd and taking yeah, him into so custody. He, too, he huh? was eventually released from this police precinct with a desk appearance ticket for inciting to riot and unlawful assembly, according to yeah, the I NYPD. I had to chill for a little bit due to the fact that, one, I got court dates that I got to appear to. My first court date, August 16th. You feel me? I got charges and stuff like that. So y'all not going to be seeing me for a little bit. Sanat vowing that the next time, if there is one, things will be different. I spoke to myself. I said, yo, Kai, next time you want to do any of these things like this, you need to hit up the right people, make the right calls, and do it the correct way. Because as a whole, bro, we all have to do better. But that just goes to show you, man, boom. Like I say, the influence and just how easy... 
it is to get persuade a mass of people to do good or to do bad. So my question be too to a lot of the influencers is uh, just right now today, uh, like why y'all don't take y'all influence and use it to influence positivity amongst the masses. If you already doing that, and if you're doing that, of course, I ain't talking to you. But for the ones that just got a platform and just got a platform, come on now. Why y'all don't use it to do good for the communities and do and, and, and put on good events for the community? Just how he called all these people out. Y'all can, y'all can get the community to react, man. So, hey, I'm, I'm still coming up and trying to come up and be an influencer and do my part. So, hey, I'm speaking with y'all on the journey before the Steve Harvey and the Diddy and the Rick Ross and all them success stories. They all got motivational speeches now, but you never really, you know, you really never hear from people when they, uh, when they on their journey and stuff like that. So you got to tap in with people, man. Tap in. What if you could do SEO smarter and faster? With Wix, you can edit your meta tags page by page for all. Yeah. So Trick Daddy dropped $60,000 to finally replace his gold grills after 30 years. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this so out. A-Dub. So Trick Daddy went to Five Star Smiles in Florida to get his grills replaced with veneers. The owner told TMZ that Trick Daddy has dropped more than $60,000 on the procedure so far and that'll come back in two months to get the bottom teeth replaced. What's more is that he hasn't gone to the dentist in more than 15 years and had suffered from severe tooth decay, which is why he ultimately decided to get his teeth fixed. And for the Love & Hip Hop Miami fans, they will be able to check out the whole procedure when a new season of the hit reality show debuts later this year. But what do you think about Trick Daddy dropping 60K to fix his Yeah, so appreciate your... uh... D, DK, DX TV, who, who that was. Um, Hip Hop DX, them two. Everybody, shout out to everybody. Y'all know we got to share these resources. But um, how y'all feel about Trick or uh, anybody or yourself too spending 60K to fix your mouth? Now, let's say your teeth was all rotted out. You got to get some dentures. And if they ain't rotted out, uh, you got you want to get the gold removed, you got to get them clean. But in his case, I think he getting like the veneers that everybody getting. Uh, do y'all feel like Trick gonna look the same, look better, look worse, look funny, look crazy? How y'all think this next hip hop, uh, love hip hop season gonna be for him and for Suki with Suki saying she trying to, you know, change her image, you know what I'm saying? So y'all let me know what y'all think, but 60K is a lot. And he only got some done and he still gotta go back and get the rest done. Whoo! I don't know. And then do y'all think that'll affect the fan base, you know, when, you, when you're when changing and stuff like that? But that kind of gets into our... Uh, let's go. Let's go. For the day. Yeah. So, the question of the day is... Why would a celebrity transform after becoming famous from who they are? So, like the tricks... And the trainers and the Sukis and the Sexy Reds and people that's in they they own little lane doing their thing. Like how, how, and why, how do you feel like it affect their careers? And then why would they choose to transform? Let's say once they done became famous off of uh, Suki being ratchet. Like, do you feel like in the future that'll help her career? Or do you feel like it'll hinder her career? Because how I feel is it'll help open up new doors for the new you. Um, But as far as the old doors that you kind of either walked out of or or still got open and that old fan base, it it depends on how you come out new, whether you're going to keep them or not. But some of them guaranteed to, to fall off because that's, they love the you and you right now, who you is. And in my thing be too, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, some of these characters, that's just like Suki and Sexy Red and all of them. If, if black culture had a ratchet lane or a hood, a ghetto, whatever you want to call that lane, that's they lane. And then you'll have a black uh, prestigious lane or whatever. 
Like the J. Cole, that's lyricist, and the Kendrick Lamar. Everybody got their lane. And then you got the regular rappers that rap about to shoot them up, bang, bangs. They got their lane. And then you got the Dream, and you got this, the R&B. So everybody got to be where they at. That's just the way I feel about it. So, you know, at the end of the day, if it make you happy, then you transition yourself. If you feel like it make you elevate and transition yourself, but never, ever do it for the sake of other people because if that's the reason it's going to eat away at your that new character going to eat away at your old character which is pretty much your foundation so it's always good to stick to you be you uh even for the money it's still going to be hard to fake it until you make it you know what i'm saying that leads to the next question too is it better to be single or in a relationship nowadays with social media. Hmm. Huh. Me personally, I don't think getting into new relationships is a good idea. I hope these words don't come back to haunt me. I hope some beautiful, my beautiful queen ain't out there watching and say, nah, remember you said this on the show? It's just right now in the space I'm in right now. I just don't, you know, it's hard to trust. With 5,000 people on Facebook got access to your man or your old lady. You got 7,500 people they can follow and lust over and talk to and be with on Instagram. You got the groups. You got so much websites and and, and Bego. And it's just it's just too many of them. Just, you know, so. And in the first time, you probably get in an argument. You know, they go and result right back to all them safety nets and all those people that's in the inbox. So people kind of, they kind of like feel like you're replaceable at any day. It's almost like how jobs treat you now. They, got, they know they got a lot of applications in there. They'll treat you like you're replaceable. Well, you got a lot of people lined up at the door. Imagine a tightrope walker. Walking the tightrope, but every foot under him is a net. Like, will he really focus on really crossing the tightrope if he know all these nets down here to catch him time he slip? Nah, but if he knew it was only one with some holes in it down there, but it's holding it, it's good enough to keep you from, from nine, but it might not be the best net, and that's the only one, he'll try to make sure he rock that tightrope right before he risk taking that fall and nowadays i feel like the internet just added too many nets to your tightrope you know what i'm saying but y'all let me know what y'all think uh <laughs> but y'all keep it non-toxic out there and if toxic would make you happy then toxicate it you know what i'm saying and and that's gonna be that man our next show uh this sunday we're gonna have a special guest mr paul Coson of the Paul Coson Foundation. Um, come on and tell us about some non-profits. So y'all make sure y'all tune in to the next show. Like, share, subscribe, and please follow. Please follow us at Chevy DTV Podcast on Instagram. Hey, y'all see the new background? We got a new background. You know, let us know what y'all think. And like I say, man, we trying to invest in the graphics. We trying to invest in uh, microphones. You know, we want us a nice boom mic and stuff. So if you'd like to help us get some equipment, a microphone, a stand, a light to make it look nice, you know, equipment, monitors, better computers. We need a new Mac. Hey, we need all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But we making it work. We making it do what we do. Because all you got to do is pursue your dreams. Don't let the obstacles get in your way. You got to self-motivate. You know what I'm saying? And just get it done. If it's possible, get it done. Don't make excuses. That's why I'm here glitching. This is like my fourth time doing this show today. But I'm here. I ain't give up. I didn't give up. I didn't give up. So make sure y'all download that Chevy TV app. You know? Ain't no quitting over here. No quitters over here. Download that app. Google Chevy D TV app. Hit a few buttons. Interact. Support your people. Support your people while they on their journey. You know? 
Don't wait till the people blow up, get big, get a platform, and then here you come wanting to hit somebody up. Come on, man. That's the oldest game in the book. Support people while they on their journey. You know, I kind of understand why some of the celebrities don't come back to the hood. You know, or wherever they from. Because when you on your journey, you know, people don't be wanting to support you. They see what you're doing. They see your grind. They see your hustle. And they'll look right past you and support some, some negativity or something that ain't going nowhere, you know. But you, just always remember you a rising star. And maybe you just shooting past people too fast for them to see you. You know, what a good friend of mine say sometimes God don't want people to see you, you know. That keep the haters away. That keep this person from stopping your grind. Keep people from slowing you down. Sometimes they're just supposed to be blind to you. But y'all keep it positive. Keep it going. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Episode 8. Shout out to my co-host. She had to work today. Get your money, boo. Sabrina La La La. She'll be back on the next episode. So y'all stay tuned in. And it's uh, Hasta La Vista Adios. Come by Voyage. And if you'd like to make a donation, it's Cash Sign Chevy TV.